You are about to see mutilated corpses, burning tank carcasses, and all of mayhem brought to you by Frontline Fatalities. guys at Game Replays and YouTube! This is the 15th episode of Frontline Vitality Season 2 brought to you by the Frontline Network. Presented by me, Fatal Saint, and my good friend, Tommy! What's up, Tommy? What's up, Fatal? Looking forward to another... Uh, this is actually a Vico game after our brief detour into PE games. Don't worry, they will be returning. But now it's back to Vico. On Angoville, no less. Oh yeah, on Angleville, um, we do have Wehrmacht vs. US, and it is Symbiosis, or Demolition Jeep, as he is also known as, and we do have Say No to Stim, or Stimtastic. Yes, a game replays expert and long-time player. So this uh, game, actually, in case you're wondering where this game came from, uh, this was nicked out of Symbiosis replay pack, which you will see linked in the game replays thread, and I'll put some links to it in the YouTube description as well. Uh, you can go and check out his replay pack. He just added a part two to uh, to make quite a sizable one v one replay pack. So do go and check that out because he is one of the best players out there currently. Oh yeah, for sure. And there's a lot of replays in that replay pack, and we will try to cast a few of the goodies in that pack itself. But, you know, if you want to see it in its entirety, you can probably download it from the links everywhere where Tommy will be posting it. Yes. Yes. Okay, so straight into the action, should we? Yes. At the five second mark, and we'll unpause in three, two, one, unpause. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we do have the first Pios from Symbiosis building the quarters, nothing unusual. And we do have racks coming up as well for Stimtastic in the north as a US player. Yep, just the old school uh, two engineer opening from uh, Sano to Stim. So that first rifle is going to be hitting about the same time as that first Volks. Both sides are just single building their Vermont quarters. Yeah, no speed barracks. building with uh, the double engineers or double Pios. So probably rifle first and maybe, you know, MG or Volk. No, no bike first, at least for Symbiosis. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a Volk. Yeah. So he's deciding now, to go Volk first. Okay. So now, Angoville is a really funny map. For Wehrmacht, you really do have to have a set strategy in mind. You certainly can't just go into it thinking you can do whatever you want, because you really can't. Uh, when it, you know the map gets split right down the middle, you really have to choose to go for a, one side or the other. You can go for the left side, and it's nice and open. Um, you can lay out a wire, and generally you just feel a bit less claustrophobic as a uh, Wehrmacht player, but as only a single VP. So you do have to hit the right side eventually. And if the American player camps up a lot, it can be really tricky. But Symbiosis has opted to go for the right-hand side, which has two VPs there, but you can actually be hemmed in to basically have no fuel due to the way that that fuel point is positioned behind those hedges. Uh, the, the American player can, can basically camp you out and just um, basically drain you. Um, it's a really nasty position to be in, so you really do have to be aggressive early uh, with uh, with Ver if you're going right side to try and take, uh, take the opposite cutoff. Yeah, you really need to be on the other side of the hedge, you know, closest to the American base, so he doesn't use that hedge against you and just keeps decapping your fuel there. He's trying to build some sandbags before he was capping, but he decided to go for the cap and the battle at the same time. Now he's repositioning his engineers and all of Symbiosis' forces almost is coming over here now. The two Pios are in action and the Volks are gonna be enough backup to chase these uh, engineers away, but Stim is not instantly retreating, he's soft pedaling away, which is gonna mean he's gonna be able to go back and cap maybe the fuel or the munitions outside of his base or just you know, basically stay around to eventually decap that fuel from the Wehrmacht player. Yeah, it's a good play by Stim uh, with a soft retreat there. You don't want to be forced into an early retreat against um, on any map, really. So he does want to try and keep his units on for as long as possible. Quick uh, little engagement here from the Rifles and the Volks. They're both trying to get into this building near the cutoff, but the Volks are just going to beat them to it. And the Rifles are probably going to have to soft retreat out of there uh, because they're not going to be able to do that much with more Volks and Pyos coming to reinforce. 
Yeah, I guess just the uh, just the Volks in the house there, if he stays where he's staying now, there's only actually two rifles being able to fire at him. He was a little bit positioned on the left side of the crate, which meant that another two uh, uh, Volks were able to fire at him, which meant he took additional damage there and was forced to retreat with the backup from the Pios. That was a bad engagement there for Stim. He uh, he should have soft pedaled out of there when he saw that the Volks would get the building first, because he just he just lost a lot of manpower and did very little there. Um, Simbos is actually soft retreating to uh, reinforce that four man squad. He did take quite a bit of health off there, which is going to help in the long run. But for now, uh, not a great first engagement. A loss of lot of early manpower. <laughs> So we do have the Pios on the right side here actually capping one of the munitions points under attack from the engineers and the reinforcing rifles as well. Gonna force uh, Symbiosis to soft paddle his own Pios away this time. But with the backup from the Volks he might be able to still win this engagement. It's just in the early stages and we do have some sandbags coming down. So Stimptastic is gonna try to deny the 16 by capping from the cover of the green cover sandbags that he just built. And with the backup guarding rifles there, he's not gonna be able to, to attack. Symbiosis won't be able to attack just yet. He's got his second Volk squad now. Very damaged though, seeing that first engagement there with them, with the rifles going all the way around. But with also two rifles now, the the scores are pretty much settled here. It's gonna be even numbers, two rifles versus two Volks with one engineer and one Pyro backup. Pyro's behind the hedge and the engineers are building the sandbags at the same time, helping the rifles get some cover as they are out of range from the Volks who actually return fire with their grease guns. Yeah, this is a bit of a strained engagement here. We got the, sort of the, the long range uh, sandbag encounter. These these two Volks here. One of those Volk squads isn't actually firing though, so it's just a bit out of, of a miss micro. Yeah, bit of miss micro there by Symbiosis. Um, Stim looks like he's just trying to stall out though. He's waiting for this third rifle to come in here, and actually this timing could be pretty good if he rushes with all three rifles. But actually, uh, Symbiosis he he actually went Volt Volk Sniper MG. That sniper's coming to reinforce, and the MG42, and he's probably not actually going to be able to hold off this uh, this rifle charge here if he sets up the MG correctly. This sniper and MG reinforcement is actually going to be a big, big help, even though the sniper misses its first shot now. Oh, he's just going to stick it out with the sniper and try to retreat away from him, but the sniper is taking a oh, tremendous amount of damage. damage. He's forced to retreat, yeah, but he's actually going to get range. out of dodge. He does actually retreat there, Stim. He probably knew that he wouldn't be able to decrew the MG before he lost too many men there. A good, a good timing of the retreat there, actually. Um, a good timing. But uh, even so, Stim is sort of losing quite a bit of manpower and... Um, uh, Symbiosis is able to hold onto his fuel there, so he is uh, he's in a pretty good position fuel wise Yeah, at the same time, you know VPs aren't really what the players are focusing on at the moment I think an engineer just went down from I'm not sure if he was they building, were building a mine a They mine. were building a mine there, so they were taking uh, the extra damage from that So that's a, that's a big up? early loss No, the mine didn't go up. It's actually uh. only 30% built and uh, and if he doesn't um, uh, remove it, then he still pays 25 munitions. Yeah, so that's later. um, that's a big loss. Loss when you only go for a single engineer start because now that leaves Stim with just four rifles and a single engineer, uh, going up against this quite strong Volt Volk Sniper MG, um, unit composition. Yeah, we do have the supply arc coming up in Stim's base at the moment, so he's gonna be able to build his motor pool or tank depot, whatever he decides to when he has enough fuel. He has held the, the left sa ha side hand fuel, the 16 fuel there, the fuel, the high point. And he's actually capping the VP as well to put on the drain a little bit on on Symbiosis. But at the same time, he counters by capping the northern VP on the right side. So two VPs in Symbiosis' favor yet again. Yeah, he's... Um He's beginning to push out now into this uh, northern bit, and actually the tier two has already come up. So if Symbiosis is going for the, uh, if uh, Stim is going for the faster mate, which it looks like he is, that motor pool now coming up, uh, he's actually that that M8 is not going to hit before the pack does. Uh, presuming that we do have a pack coming up first. Uh, we do so have a half track, in. half track out first. So, but okay. he is floating, uh, you know, uh, a safe amount of manpower to build whatever he wants to afterwards. He's almost up to 300 now, so it's not going to be a problem to get the pack out if he sees the M8 in time. Yeah, it was um, all that early manpower loss really means that um, the stem has to wait quite a, an, at least another minute to actually even start building that uh, that M8. Really, what he probably should have gone there was for a WSC if you see that um, your opponent is camping like that, or possibly even bars. But that early um, engineer loss was you know one less flamer, and that's just, that's really hurt him. Yeah, WSC to get you know uh, the 
flush out the MG or get the counter snipe very early can be very cost effective for you so he doesn't drain you of manpower with his own sniper and you know as well bars with a two three four pronged rifle attack the the volks with no vet is not going to stand up against four bar squads even if one of them gets suppressed by the MG because the MG crew dies so quickly to bar fire and the volks themselves die quickly as well so you know with bars could have been uh, you know an option for Stim as well. Oh, that's a nice flank by Stim. That's a nice flank on that MG though. Uh, there's actually a mine. He's retreating right over that mine and those rifles are just about to hit it there. Ouch. Ooh, that's a big, big hit. Down to just one man and then half track chases. He could lose the whole squad. The half track was a bit slow to accelerate there. Oh, another mine the goes off as well. This is a problem the with losing the early engineer. He he can't build a minesweeper now because he upgraded to flamers on his single engineer squad. So he's not going to have to rebuild an engineer to get sweepers if this mine uses continues from from Symbiosis. Meanwhile, Symbiosis is um, keeping up the aggressive capping. He's actually going over and capping that plus 16. Fuel over there on the left-hand side. The pack is already out and uh, is moving up, and the M8 is going to have a couple of seconds of free reign. Might even be able to kill the sniper. Ooh, very the sniper lucky. is uncloaked. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a corpse behind that hitch or something, or he has just fired too often, so he can't recloak for a while. Wow, he takes a shot from M8, but he actually shrubs mm -hmm. it off. The pack opens up. It's just positioned by the VP in the south there, he's gonna keep pushing the sniper around it. Oh, and he gets it with the M8! I think wow, Symbiosis should have retreated there. Yeah, he probably should have retreated. Um, I guess he was he was playing a bit of a dangerous game there. Um, and now the M8, it's sort of in a bad position though, the M8. I mean, it can't really... You know, the half track can block it if he tries to be too aggressive. Yeah, he um, can't go for the pack uh, circle strafing there reliably. And at the same time, Symbiosis moved out with his Volk and he's actually cutting off the left side for Stim. So even though he lost the sniper, at least he accomplished something with with the cutoff taken from the American player. He's going to be able to basically reinforce that position with the two Volks now. It's going to require more than just one rifle squad to regain that. Yeah, this is the major problem with going for the M8. If the M8 doesn't make a big enough impact and allows you to secure, secure enough territory and sort of punch a hole, uh, it really leaves you in a bad position map control wise. Symbios is now um, laying a lot of mines to try and secure that territory, and now both plus 16s are in his control, uh, leaving him with, um, well, with plenty of fuel and leaving uh, Stim with virtually none. He is now upgrading bars, and that's literally all of his fuel now. He's got five left in the bank. Oh wow! So no additional M8s when this finally, when this M8 actually goes down, he's probably not going to afford to build another one instantly unless he gets the 16 fuel back into his possession. This is a nice push though by Stim. Uh, he's moving up in force, which is good, good play using the M8 to support it. Now the bars have just popped as well. That's really going to hurt this sort of vol very vault centric uh, tier two play. There's no sign of tier three from Stim. Uh, but he, he just has Volk, so those bars are really going to chew through them, especially while they're unvetted. Yeah, he's deciding to go for a Grin out from his tier 2 now, so he's going to be able to reinforce or help his Volks out against these bar rifles a little bit. He's got one Grin on, and the second one is building, actually, so yeah, it's going to be, it's gonna be uh, you know, tough engagements all around now, but with the extra suppression from the half-track, if it keeps alive, with the M8 constantly shooting at it, and he ha he keeps repairing it over and over again. Yeah, that uh, the early half track is really really good, and actually it's a sign that Symbiosis is not going to go defensive. We're, have we actually seen a doctrine choice from him no, yet? No, no, no doctrine. Okay, far so no doctrine choice from Symbiosis yet. But you know, getting the half track, so he's not get he's not gotten a bunker at all yet. So no infield reinforcement. There's a nice big hit on that uh, M8 there, right through the gap in the buildings. Very nice. Yeah, nicely positioned from the pack there. He snuck up uh, around the hedge and there's actually protective mines for the MG and in the beginning Symbiosis built that tank trap to the left side of the house between the hedge and the house so he can't get flanked from that position. And he did also wire it off but obviously the wire has gotten destroyed now by I think the M8 destroyed some of it and he cut some of the wire with his flame range as, uh, as well. He, do he does have a sweeper engine now, I see, so he's got... He, yeah, he, he built did his rebuild, second. Yeah, he did rebuild the second engineer. It's now, not a bad choice, I must say, considering there's he's seen plenty of mine being placed, and he hit a few mines as well, so going for a sweeper is a good investment. Yeah. Now a big uh, two-pronged attack now by Symbiosis. He's moving in with double volts to try and uh, take back the American cutoff here on the left-hand side. These bars are going in, but the, there's no triage yet from... Uh, from Stim, so these these bolts are really taking a lot of uh, uh, the rifles took a lot of damage, but actually so did the bolts. Well, I and do both, believe both the, bolts supposed to retreat. the MG in the house actually went down to the flamer engines just before they hit that mine. So 
Another unit lost for Symbiosis here with the Sniper dead already and now also an MG dead. I do believe he still has both his Pios, his original Pios left at least. And he does have the two Grants and the two Volks in the pack and the Half-Track as well. Okay, well that's a nice break for uh, for Stim there, actually killing that uh, that MG. I think he killed it with a single burst, the whole crew. Yeah, uh, it, it looked very healthy to me before that engagement. I think it took some small arms fire, but not even remotely close to kill one man. And the Flamer just went in and triple crit into him to death. Yeah, he's going to be in a good position now to really make good use of those four bar squads. He can he can just run over Symbiosis now. He just doesn't have the anti-infantry firepower to keep up. And it, all these unvetted Grens are going to go down very quickly to bars and give away a lot of XP. So it's a really good opportunity now. There's oh, Bet1 one for one. Infantry. Yeah, just popped. Just yeah, popped. Bet1 for Infantry going to gain him some regen on his infantry forces. He also actually immediately rebuilt his MG after his first initial MG died in that house from the Flamers. So he does have an MG again. So... As long as he can keep positioning them correctly, he can cut off any, you know, two, three-pronged attacks pretty easily with the backup from two Grand Squads, even though one of them has a Strick. And the Volks as well. So we do have MP40 upgrade for one of the Volks Squads as well, but Symbiosis is now out of munitions, so he won't be able to afford another upgrade for his second Volks. We do have another attack here with basically everything from Stimpact Tastic moving out of his base, except for one capping rifle on the left side of the map there. Pack this opens nice it up on the M8. This is, this is good US play now. He's really moving out in force, doing a lot of damage to those, to those Vet 1 Grens. Pack is about to get de so the M8 is going to be able to move in. The Shrek Grens are in the building on the opposite side. Now the M8 is going to move in. He's going to take advantage of the fact that there's no AT out there. And he's going to do a bit of damage to that half track. MG is losing a couple of men there, repositioning now. Stealing the pack stole. as well. Gonna turn it on the half track most likely. The gunner is killed by one of the shots from the M8, and the half track is trying to get out of dodge. The pack is actually not moving. I do think the pack is getting focus fired by both the MGs and the Grants. And here comes the Shrek Grants from the house. They're moving out to deal with this M8. Oh, that's a big nice pineapple. pineapple. Actually, he <laughs> got decrewed anyway. The MG was dead already, but you know, better safe than sorry. Both the Volks now have MP40 upgrades, and they're moving in to mow down these. Bar rifles, one squad is forced to retreat with Vet 1, another squad also Vet 1. The Grants are actually down to two men with very low health, he pops into the building. At the same time, the M8 is still out of trouble because the Shrek Grants aren't there. I do believe he just focused fire the repairing he engineers did, though. Yeah, he just focused the repairing engineers and they went down very quickly to those. Yeah, it was so quickly, building. I barely noticed it. They just like three get dead guys in two seconds. Yeah, now Vet 2 rifles though on those bar squads that. He must have a supply yard upgrade. Kills. Um, he does not have a spider. Wow, upgrade. he's getting a it's, lot it's, of veterans. It's, the, it's those Grens. That it's when the Grens they're, and when the pack. Before they're, before they're Vet 2, they just give away a whole lot of veterancy. There's yeah, a nice name in the building. Stim oh. doesn't see it, loses a lot of men there and a lot of health. So both the pack and the MG is uncrewed, but with both the Volks forced off in that engagement. We do have an off map, so he went infantry? Infantry, yeah. That's infantry, right, so infantry for Stim Tastic. Gets uh, one of the Grants dead on the first explosion. Oh, very close on the second explosion as well. The third shell lands close to one of the the, the decrewed MG. He might destroy the weapon permanently if he gets a perfect hit on it. Still I think he might have trying health. to prevent the the re the, the recrew of that MG until he can get back in the field. That was a big, a very costly engagement for both sides. I don't know. I'd, I'd say with the loss of both support weapons, I'd say um, uh, Stim came out a little bit on top there, especially getting those Vet2 rifles. Yeah, the, the veteran C made him come out on top, I, I agree. Oh, we got a pineapple There's on a nice the MG, pineapple. which is That's getting nice. recruited. Oh. oh my god, all three of them died. But at least the Volk squad, I thought that nuclear pineapple was actually going to kill off the, the Volks as well, because they were so clustered up after recruiting the support weapon, the MG. Yeah, he I thought it might kill them ooh, all. WSC from Stimtastic, two kills to his sniper's name now, so he went WSC for a sniper. Considering he killed the Axis sniper, he has no threat of a counter snipe. And since he's seen, you know, a fair amount of tier 2 units and also an MG rebuilt, I guess he could safely build a sniper of his own without fearing the counter snipe. Yeah, and it's going to help against uh, Deku and the support weapons once they get recruited. Uh, oh, yeah, and the Grants as well, since he, considering Symbiosis is now Vet 2 on infantry, which makes them just a hell of a lot sturdier. MG opens up on the attempting flank from the Vet 2 rifles. The Vet 1 rifle gets suppressed by the half-track, I think. That, uh, yeah, that rare, rare MG, MG on the half-track is yeah. beast. 
It is fucking awesome. It's like MG42 levels practically. So Stim actually now losing quite a bit of the map. Uh, he he Sympios from Symbiosis went out to cap the left hand side, and they took back all the way up to that plus 16 in the corner, which is now about to get recapped by the American player. Um, but it looks like Symbiosis, instead of pushing for the cutoff, is now just going to be content to sort of creep his way down the right hand side until he owns all of it. And that's where the sniper is going to come in for Stimtastic. He uh, he needs to he needs to get the most usage out of that sniper possible so he can you know make a bit of a comeback and take advantage of the fact that uh, Symbiosis doesn't have a sniper yet. Yeah, and he he's not extremely likely to rebuild his sniper unless you know the the sniper all of a sudden becomes starting to make such a huge impact on his support weapon and Grens, making him forcing him to retreat or you know losing his support weapons and get them stolen. Yeah, exactly. Looks like Stim is about to shape himself up here for a big, big flank. Uh, Three pronged attack. Retreat. Soft retreat. One of the rifles retreats very early. That's uh, maybe a little bit preemptive. Oh, pack has opened up on the Vet 1 M8 with 9 effort to kills. This bar, Vet 2 bar rifle is doing a nice flank on the MG. We got an off map which is coming down around the MG and the bars and the pack as well. He might actually kill the stolen MG here. Oh, he gets the retreat off. He Ooh. actually keeps the weapon. So stolen MG there. That's a big win for him. It's a good win, yeah. Considering, you know, his bar rifles is his main fighting force with that pack still out there somewhere. Basically stopping his his M8 from engaging. We have some bars here. A bit out of position now. Called out by these two MP40 bulks. They're not going to win this engagement. So he does take the retreat early enough. So he's not going to lose too many men there, if any men at all. Um, certainly yeah. don't want to stay there for too much longer. Those MP40s, even though they have shitty uh, moving accuracy, they can really, uh, 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 you know, they can really uh, shred a rifle squad on retreat. So oh, American yeah. cutoff stolen once again. Yeah, double I'm, Faust going oh, in. Oh, Alpha Faust! The the and it is the end of the M8. A big win there for Symbiosis. Uh, caught Stimtastic a bit off guard there. I think I don't. I didn't. I think he just didn't anticipate the the double Faust there. Yeah, I don't think so either. We do have terror shows from Symbiosis now, and we do have the left hand side propaganda war unlocked. Okay, so he's going down for the KT route. Yeah. Um, I, I I must say that Symbiosis is doing a great job with the harassment, especially on the cutoff point outside of the American base. You know, he's basically hindered Stimtastic Ooh, for map. having a healthy income for m almost the entire game. On map, off map, on map. No, on map, on map. On map coming down around. It's very, it's very scattered. Uh, not really it's coming creepy. down anywhere near any real targets. Oh, there's rifles! Oh, there's a grenade nice tennis. Grenade tennis. <laughs> Unfortunately, that half track doing a very nice job of keeping Symbiosis in the field. You know, in, and under any other circumstances, he would have had to retreat there. He was losing a lot of men, but uh, the half track is allowing him to stay in the game. Uh, I do agree, uh, though. I mean, uh, Symbiosis is playing very, very well. You know, he's moving from side to side using all of his forces. You know, he takes one side, he mines it up, and then he moves to the other side, and he's uh, doing a really good job of doing that switcheroo bit there. Wow, that. Allied Sniper, oh, he actually gets propped war, and he's gonna chase it with the half-track probably, but he doesn't have the rare armor gunner on the half-track for some reason. He must have been critted by the uh, MG42 maybe, and lost the the back, the back gunner there. He's actually this chasing the sniper way into the base. He gets the sticky for the stickies. best two rifles. He's gonna regret doing that now. The loss of that half-track is gonna be big for him. Yeah, it's immobilized. That thing is toast. At the same time, some rifles on the right side are also gained Vet 2 from killing some Grants here. He's now forced to retreat without the ability to reinforce from that half track, which just went down to. I'm not sure. MG Nest? Base maybe? MG. The base MG. Base MG. You, get down. you can't actually see the kills on the base MG, so you never know if it killed it or not. <laughs> yeah. Another uh, M8 out now, three. though, from Stimtastic after the first one got Alpha Fausted from the two MP40 Volks. At the same time, he is harassing the VPs on both the right side and the left side now. Getting that extra M8 is probably quite a good idea. He must anticipate the tier 3, and Sturm Armory is up now. Uh, what do we have coming out of that Sturm Armory for Symbiosis? Uh, Puma out first, which is the logical choice, considering the bar rifles is the biggest threat. Oh, prop war on the two, nice best two bar rifles, war. forcing them back to base so he can cap this VP in peace. We do have a MG, the stolen MG from Steam Tastic moving into the strong house just outside of his base. 
Gonna overlook the cutoffs there. And the pack is just hanging out at the 16 fuel. Chilling. It's just chilling, bro. is going out without any skirts. So, Ooh. you know, one Faust could give it a damaged engine. It's a Ooh, very dangerous position to be in. Sniper hits Vet 2 from killing one of the MP40 Volks. And the, the M8 Greyhound actually kills another one. We do have Symbiosis moving out in force now from his base with the two Grens with a stolen bar on one squad. And the Puma as well is now finished construction from the Sturm Armory. He's a little low on the manpower at the moment, so he can't produce another Puma instantly directly after. This sniper is running around on cloak, takes a shot on one of the Pyos, which is probably going to force him to retreat. Yep, and the Pyo retreats back to base. The Puma is now out on the field, but the M8 is a decent soft counter to the Puma. It's going to force him to move around. There's a mine very close to that I meant, however, yeah, and without would, skirts. Almost, yeah, and here's it a Shrek. It would kill it, but Ooh. it would do a heck of a lot of damage. Was that Shrek a was shaping up to try and throw a nade, but uh, he was taking so much damage there on those Vet 2 rifles. More rifle reinforcements now moving in. Yeah, Stim's got a lot of Vet 2 rifles. I'm really liking yeah. the rifle vet. And this is all without any supply art upgrades. He doesn't have the, the, the one? Not, not even, even the, the one? one, no. Oh, wow, really? So he's, he's really playing very well, but this sniper from Stim is very, very close to this mine. He really doesn't want to lose that to a mine because that's one thing that's really doing a lot of uh, legwork for him right now with 13 kills. Many of those are, are Grens, so uh, you know they're really helping him out, especially without the infield reinforcement from the half track now. Symbiosis is um, is uh, finding himself a little bit pushed back now. Yeah, Stimtastic is doing a good comeback here uh, considering the, the map control is uh, switching over a little bit to his favor now. Sniper opens up on... A, no. On the Puma? I think it shot on the Puma. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think it did. Sometimes if you put a sniper on attack move, they... Um, they shoot at the first thing they see. Yeah, exactly. Even though it's like a fucking tank <laughs> or a vehicle. It's a really, really stupid idea. That was it. That mine from Symbiosis, it must have just... It, it must just, just been like a bad spot or something. I don't know. Sim's just not naturally going there. Uh, he must go for it soon. I think he's trying, you know vaguely to bait him a little bit with the Puma because he gets shot, you know, takes some shots at some capping rifles, moves back, you know, and just expects him to pursue it. Here comes the M8! It's actually gonna just skid around there, take a shot, another shot on the Puma. At the same time, we do have the MG outside of Stim's base, firing on some MP40 Volks, which is capping the VP. At the same time, the other Volks and the Gwen's now coming to try to flush out this MG or straight out kill it. Gwen Grenade goes into the house, the MG is packing up. Bow! All three guys dies! That's a big, big loss. Oh, and it forces Symbiosis to use Prop War on the two barred rifles because both of his Grens and both of his Volks are so damaged that he probably would have lost that engagement with the Vet 2 rifles. One of uh, Symbiosis' pioneers went down there to a combination of a Sniper and the Puma. Puma took out one and the Sniper took out the other. A Sniper and an M8. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sniper and M8. What are talking about? Pumas. Americans don't get Pumas. <laughs> Very much doesn't get another Pumas. mine there, which suppose uh, Stim uh, hits there. Doesn't lose too much, only one engineer loss. Oh, Pax and Pax gets a rare armor hit there. Curveball shot. Right that was the a curveball there. shot, yeah. Homing missiles, you know. The Wehrmacht, Wehrmacht players have all the things in their disposal, like Kevlar armor and ooh, stuff. Ooh. MP4 uh, the Volk went down to on retreat to the two Vet 2 bar rifles. Yeah, he stayed to try and get the Faust off, but it cost him dearly. If, ah. if he hadn't taken that Faust, he would have uh, he would have gotten out of there. It's pretty funny with the Faust. Now. You can make you can, you can make the units uh, slightly stop if you Faust infantry. He was obviously trying to Faust M8, I think, but uh, you never you never you can't be sure. But if you Faust infantry guys, they you know slightly do some dodgy stuff and stop for a little while. Oh, I. I do believe it was the a prop sniper war on the down. Yeah, there was allied a prop sniper. On the sniper. Oh! Stim was getting way too aggressive with that sniper. He was running around uncloaked, doing kind of stupid things with it, so he kind of deserved that. He was he was really being too reckless. Yeah, a little bit too ballsy. We do have the King Tiger now unlocked for Symbiosis. Instantly bought as well. He did have 600 manpower almost in the bank. Ooh. So now so it, now it really comes PTS. down... Now it really comes down to Symbiosis being able to stay in the field for long enough. Considering he doesn't have the half-track anymore, he can't reinforce in the field. He can't really afford reinforcing lots and lots of Grens either. No, I mean, I guess it's good that he got both Pumas first, because obviously yeah. he can just repair those back. Sticky goes off on one of the Pumas. I don't think Sim uh, saw that one go in. ATG opens up on one of the others. 
Oh, about the second shot actually misses and the Puma gets out of dodge. Here comes the MT40 Volks. At the same time, this we had a Grand uh, holding the high by Stim. Yeah, he, good play he for already, both players. He's already got two ATGs. He must have seen this um, this KT coming for a little while now, because you know he saw Prop War a little while ago, so he must have known it was coming. You know, so many casts we've done, we've said, you know, they've seen the KT, they've known the KT is coming, but they just didn't prepare for it. Um, but in this case, Stim has done a good job of actually preparing for this KT, so he, he's able to keep that thing at bay. And so it can't just, you know, it can't just ruffle stomp him into his base and destroy everything. Yeah, he can't just willy nilly go into the base and kill everything. AT gun actually opened up on a KT. He's taking uh, a bit of damage considering there's only one AT gun shooting at him at the moment, and maybe the M8 shot at him as well. But the penetration rate from an M8 versus King Tiger is bupkis. Yes. <laughs> so KT down to 90% health or so after uh, several deflections from the 57. Uh, Stim was obviously feeling so confident in his AT abilities that he got another sniper before getting himself the ATG. So. I think this is his third sniper he's bought, so hopefully he'll be a little bit more careful with this one. Um, yeah, what he really needs to do now is punish Symbiosis as much as possible, considering he's seen the KT, he knows the KT is out, he knows that Symbiosis is, is going to be lacking manpower to reinforce squads. So, you know, prime targets are going to be, you know, forcing the, the Pyos off, which he's doing here on the right side. Sniping white power Pyo is going to force the second Pyo to retreat which is going to make him unable to repair his Pumas uh, you know, quickly enough if he gets stickies off with the damaged engine and then follows up with AT gun attacks. And at the same time, he's going to be able to snipe the Grens, making them forced to retreat as well when they're down to two, to one to two men. And he's Symbiosis is not going to be able to reinforce them over and over again because his income is so, so hindered yeah, at I the mean, moment the next, due to the KT. For the next four or three, three or four minutes, um, Sim is, is going to be almost on the back foot just by having the KT. So, as you say, Stim does need to make sure he takes advantage of this. I think that's AP rounds now opening up for the KT. I saw one big penetration. Oh. No, not AP rounds. No, not AP second rounds. deflection. Second, yeah. MP40 Volks now chasing the sniper, which took a few shots on him, at least one. We do have the bar rifles protecting him from the house there. Oh, he almost kills the MP40 Volks are forced to retreat with only one man. But with the sniper actually retreating to base, he doesn't have to fear it getting sniped on retreat. The Pumas are now coming up from a flank this against the, the second move. 57. But with the bar rifles, the Vet 2 rifles, especially with the stickies in the house. Very oh, prop move. war! Very, very nice. nice. He's going to be able to decode that ATG and maybe even kill it if he gets enough time to sit there and attack move it. The yeah, MA is nice moving over now. Yeah, yeah, the prop war was very well timed there. It was exactly what he needed. Wow, KT oh takes a huge God. shot on the rifles and kills four of them in one shot. You rarely see the KT kill a lot of infantry squad, uh, infantrymen in one shot, but that's one for you guys. Yeah. Here comes the M8. They were trying to destroy the AT gun. It got him down to fairly low health, and the Puma is able to polish it off. The sweeper pyros get killed. They might get killed on retreat. The M8 actually misses. The pack opens up on the M8. At the same time, the Puma is now happy with his mission accomplished at killing the AT gun moves away. Field. Oh wow, From really? Stim. Yeah, he bought himself a 30 cal to guard the VP. It's not a terrible ID, or is yeah, it can't be the MG42 because that went down. And we do have the on yeah, no, now I, opening I, I up on... I looked at it in detail because I was thinking, wait, is that the MG42? And it's not, it's... Uh... That's a legit 30 cal. Some Grens <laughs> got caught off guard there, uh, losing a couple of men there at point blank range. 20 kills now on that Vet 2 infantry squad from Stim. So oh, he's so looking he's... good to be getting himself a Vet 3 squad if he keeps up these kind of kills. Yeah, 6, to, nice ten, six to 8 Stim. more kills on those rifles is probably going to net them Vet 3. Considering, you know, except for the MP40 Volks and the Pyos, there's only Grens to shoot at. Yeah, probably. I think the uh, pack got permanently destroyed by the on map. I saw it get decrewed and I can see some rubble laying in the field there. So I do believe that both the 57 getting destroyed by the Puma, uh, he rectifies it by killing the pack, making it unable to recruit as well. So his M8 is going to have a little bit more of a field day against these Pumas if he wants to go all out and chase them around the field. Well, that could be a, a nice time to move in for him, but it looks like both sides are just kind of staying stationary. I mean, the, the VP pressure is definitely a hell of a lot more on Stim than it is on... Oh no, that sniper's getting very close to that mine! He gets decoding, he gets killed by the mine! The mine takes out Stim's sniper! That was the mine we've been waiting for for a long time. <laughs> it's just been sitting there for the whole entire game almost, and the M8 was so close like three or four times, but he never hit the mine, and some rifles were very close to it as well, and some engineers, n nothing ended up hitting it, and now basically well, is Symbiosis hits the jackpot. We got MP40s coming in from the flank to try and decrew this, uh, 
try and decrew these ATGs. This is a very nice. Oh, nice prop there. war as well, forcing the Vet two rifles away so he can't defend his AT guns with the rifles against the Grens. This M8 is trying to get out of dodge and circle straight away from the main gun of the King Tiger, but he's gonna shrek on one of the Grens squad. He might not be able to get it out of dodge. He might get fasted as well by the MP40 Volts. There's no fast. There's the fast, but he's gonna go out of range. Here comes some bar rifles from the right side trying to reinforce this position, but with MP40 Volts and the two Grens squads, it might be enough to hinder these we had two rifles. Oh, Here comes some SMG Rangers. Field. Suddenly, Rangers everywhere. Oh, rare oh, armor deflection. Oh, That's on map as well on the MP40 walks, forces them to retreat, losing three men in one shell. We Huge do have the M8 though. chasing the Pumas on the right side. He actually gets killed by the Puma main guns. That was unlucky. Very, very unlucky. That was a big, big loss for Stim. Beautiful use of prop war there to make sure that he won the engagement there by Symbiosis. Now the KT really has uh, almost free reign, but now the AT one of the ATGs recrewed. Rainer's coming around to the flank here. The do uh, a fair amount of damage. He doesn't have the munitions for a sticky or for AP rounds. Oh! And the prop board usage, very nice. He's a prop board. The AT gun is just at the right angle, and the KT just can't get the finishing shot. Bet 3 hit There's for the three. rifle. Very nice. Killing very nice. Grins. He's doing a lot of damage to those Grins. Oh wow, bars! Bar. Wow, bars do so much damage. That Grand Squad really needs to retreat, and that KT just magically manages to decrew the AT gun. But he might get a sticky on the KT here. Sadly, it's already on a bet three squad. He retreats. Oh, he should have picked up that. Uh, that oh, he mobilized. Oh wow, he so did it actually kill him. Very bad position now. This KT is on the verge of going down, but Stim just doesn't have the manpower to go and deal anything with it unless he fires the on-map 105 at it. Oh. Is the old map firing? That's what he's doing, yeah. The old map's firing. He's oh! Firing now. This could be. This could be a decisive moment. There goes the 57, is destroyed by the two Pumas. Uh, Here comes all there. the rifles from Stim. He might try to get. Oh! On map takes out the repairing Air pios. pios the KT is still immobilized. Takes another hit from the, the 105 howitzer. Damage it a little bit. These Rangers might actually get the kill and net them some very nice. Of XP if they get him. Frontal deflections, dual frontal reflections yes. from the bazooka. Oh, He's actually pineapple the KT Brain. now. Oh, main. main gun destroyed! Oh god, that KT is so lucky. That KT is just on the verge of death. More pioneers now coming out. Uh, two pioneer squads have been enlisted. To, to try and uh, to try and repair it by full health, but Stim is spending so much on reinforcing. He could have saved up there and got himself an off-map combat group and killed it for sure. You know, even an M8 would be enough to kill that KT. Oh yeah, but but especially Stim, with no main gun. He keeps on reinforcing all these squads oh. by full health, and the prop war usage is brilliant. Yeah, Stim really needs to spread out his forces now, considering there's a little bit of a prop war spam going on from Symbiosis almost. Yeah, I mean, he's had it used against him so many times now. He's got to be thinking, right, I can't keep on going in like this. But he's Sniper. spending an awful lot of reinforcement now, and there's not even a single supply out of great to keep it up. Odd map now firing on the KT again, killing one of the Pios, forcing them to retreat as well. They've got two rifles moving out of the base from Stim, forcing the Shrekwens away, but these MP40 Volks and the Bazooka and Bargren, just stolen weaponry everywhere. Yeah, the KT actually got its main gun back, um, but it's, it's still, still immobilized. And yes. damage engine on top of that. So now this is a big push now. The Pumas are the only thing standing in the way. The Pumas and the MP40 bolts. Damn, yeah, but these Vet 3 rifles, if the Vet 3 rifles can get a sticky off, but Stim has so few munitions now. There goes a sticky from the Vet 3 rifles. That's surely going to do it with the extra damage. Oh, destroyed engine! Destroyed engine. Oh no, the Rangers went down. The Ranger squad got oh. annihilated by the Pumas plus the MP40 box. MP40 box had 26 kills now. Yeah, the sniper as well. Into range. The rifles, there's a bazooka right there. The rifles are gonna go and try and pick that up. Oh, he's actually chasing the sniper, sniper I think, as well. He got the bazooka with the rifles. He's chasing the sniper now that helped out killing that Ranger squad. Prop war to save Symbiosis as a sniper. He's and got a sniper massive. And he doesn't have the munitions for a sticky. He's, on, he's only on a plus 10 munitions income. And he's going to lose his Vet3 vet three rifles. Oh, I think Stimtastic is basically throwing in the towel here. <laughs> I hate random number generators. <laughs> oh, yeah.
So back in Stim's base, there's basically two bar rifles and a 30 cal. That's all he's got left with the 105 as well. Yeah, I mean he's. But Symbiosis did a great, just a great game really, especially with the map harassment. You know, considering usually as a Wehrmacht player, as you said in the beginning, you really need to make a choice: left or right side, left or right side. What do I do? What do I do? But he was basically everywhere. Well, the thing was, he played extremely well in that he, he would go all in on one side with just a pioneer to cap the other side to keep up the pressure. And then once he established his grip on one side, because Stim was more split up than he was, he could just overwhelm him numerically. And then he flipped over to the other side. You know, he'd take one side, mine it up, switch to the other. And that's what you need to play, not just on Angoville. It's especially important on Angoville because of the way the map... Yeah, on all maps, really. Yeah. It very, very... Uh, Good play from both players actually. I mean, the rifle play from Steam was actually very, very good. Getting so many vet rifles with no supply out upgrades is quite a feat, especially in this in this patch. It's very difficult to get rifle vet. Oh yeah, I, I agree, I agree. I'm especially when surprised. you go M8 and yeah, you went M8 first, and you know if you go fast M8 and then to get vet three rifles by the end of the game is real. That's a real feat because you know those those grins practically pop vet two before you even got vet two rifles. So. And there's the end of the game, the VPs drain down for Stimtastic down to zero or one. KT is actually has a limp cannon on my screen. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a visual bug, they never yeah. fixed, uh, you can't see it rotating, so it just it just fires like through some hole in the side. <laughs> <laughs> they did some... It's like they bent the barrel or something. They did some rudimentary repairs to it, so they didn't need a barrel anymore, so they could just shoot from the turret itself. Uh, yeah, we we fixed the KT. It's just it looks a little bit different. <laughs> but, uh, that was a really cool game actually. I, I'm uh, I'm glad uh, that we that we picked that one up actually from from Symbiosis replay pack. Oh yeah, indeed. I agree. I agree. Um, but uh, thank you guys for watching once again. That was episode 15. So we're making our way there. We're expanding our catalog of games for Frontline Fatality season two. Uh, it's it's going well. It's going well. Yeah, and I, I just have to thank every all of our subscribers. Uh, it's growing quite rapidly at the moment. Uh, we're up to 600 for just two weeks ago. We were at, what, 300? Four, maybe? four. Yeah, three, three four hundred. Yeah. Somewhere around that number. So, you know, that's a pretty good game considering we only had that many from the beginning for two weeks ago. So um, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and comment and like this video and favorite it as well. And we'll see you guys for the next episode. See you guys.